بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ذكر الله سبحانه وتعالى is one of the greatest things that we can do as the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned Allah سبحانه وتعالى is pleased with those who mention him often and ذكر is easy and simple for us it doesn't require that we make ablution as we mentioned it doesn't require you know that we have purified ourselves but we should not make ذكر in the restroom when we're using the restroom اكرمكم الله but ذكر is so easy for us all any one of us can make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It doesn't require wealth. It doesn't require status. It doesn't require nationality. It requires that we do it in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it requires that we do it with sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, كلمتان خفيفتان على لسان ثقيلتان في الميزان حبيبتان للرحمن سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم متفق عليه in this hadith that was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه he said two statements that are very easy خفيفتان they're very easy to say they're very light statements light upon the tongue but heavy on the scale meaning the scale of good deeds حبيبتان إلى الرحمن they're beloved to الرحمن the most merciful Allah تبارك وتعالى and then he said سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله Subhanallah al-Azim He said Glorified be Allah Wa bihamdihi And all the praise belongs to him And glorified be Allah Azim The greatest Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Is the greatest Subhanahu wa ta'ala And the most the only one worthy of worship and the only one worthy of praise. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it shows us that dhikr is easy and simplistic. Any one of us can make dhikr of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Any one of us can worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, but we can make dhikr and it does not require us to have uh, tahara, to, to, it doesn't require that we have a certain dress or a certain type of purification, but rather it just requires of us that we do it in accordance with the sharia, in accordance with the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how he did it. And it requires that we do it with our heart filled with love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in fact, it raises the love. It raises our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we remember Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. It increases our iman. It increase, increases our faith. And hopefully, we hope for the mercy of Allah. And we hope for the love of Allah. And we hope that Allah accepts our deeds and we're fearful of his punishment subhanahu wa ta'ala so if our hearts are firm upon worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remembering Allah and then we do the action just those simple actions as the Prophet Sallallahu said on our tongues by just remembering Allah in a very simple very simple way an easy easy way that any of us can do it doesn't require that we are the wealthy ones of our community it doesn't require that we are the people of the highest status in our community it doesn't require that you're the a saint but any of us can make dhikr remembrance of Allah the Almighty any of us can come closer to Allah any of us can can make uh, repentance to Allah and we can make this beloved dhikr to Allah this is Habibatani ila Rahman it is the, these two beautiful statements are beloved both of them are beloved to Ar Rahman the most merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
And so I encourage myself to remember Allah often. And for those listening to remember Allah often and to seek forgiveness and come closer to Allah. Spend time using your tongue for that which is a, uh, uh, brings benefit. Brings benefit to your life and brings benefit to you in the hereafter by remembering Allah, the Almighty, the Most Gracious. By thanking Allah, by making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is type of shukr. This is how we're making shukr on our limbs. This is how we're making shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our tongues. And then we are following the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.